What's up guys, my name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Today, I was gonna strap y'all onto a car and take y'all for a ride. That's one thing I haven't done yet on a vlog. I haven't actually put my GoPro on a car and sent y'all trucking down the street. Um, I wanna do that today. But in order for me to do that, the kids are gonna see me play my car, so I'm gonna have to get the kids' cars ready. And I don't know if you guys have this problem, but every time I let my eight-year-old Actually, he's seven. Seven-year-old. You lose track. Sorry, guys. My seven-year-old, every time I let my seven-year-old drive his car, he breaks it. Or does something to it. So, I have to get his car up and running again. And he actually split the motor. Yeah, like the motor end bell or whatever. It just came off. So, I've got to fix that. And it was from a Valenian motor. Here, I'll show you guys. All right, see that? That is not supposed to be pitched up like that. This is on a slash 4x4 four, four four LCG, but I converted it into a buggy. Um, they call these cars sluggies. So this is what I used, this is what I used to let my now nine-year-old drive. Um, and it was a good car because it didn't break very often. And when it did break, it was an easy fix. And if he just took it into the field and went, you know, bashing around and getting it wet, it didn't really bother me that much. But he split the freaking motor, and I swear, there's always something with this, with this guy. I mean, he'll run into curb straight on, freaking full blast. But in this case, this seems like an easy fix. I'm gonna get that fixed up, and then we're gonna go drag racing down the street while you're strapped on my favorite basher, which I'm actually gonna do a Mark's Garage on this car. This car is freaking awesome. It's this one right here. This guy. I know what you're thinking. It's just Revo 33, but it is not just Revo 33. It is, you know what? I'm not even gonna spoil it. I'm gonna do a Mark's Garage and you guys can see. So let me get to work on Ethan's car. So here it is. He actually broke the housing, the motor housing. Like you can see, I'm about to unscrew these. So basically this is an older, VXL or Valenian motor and on the older ones they weren't one piece so this end bell actually screwed on so you can see there's a screw there and there's a screw here well it looks like he broke the outside part and it actually broke those screws out so I'm gonna unscrew the end bell and show you guys what I'm talking about and yeah that's not good I'm gonna probably just glue it back together I didn't like to I don't like to put the uh, I mean, I, this is kind of bad, but I kind of give my kids the beat up motors and stuff because I know they're just gonna destroy them anyways. So, like the other day, it was raining. And I said, all right, or after it rained, I said, all right, y'all go, you guys can go drive, but don't drive in the water. Don't drive in the water. I don't know how many times I reminded them not to drive in the water. Guess where he drove. And the only bit of water on the street and I called him out on it and he said, okay, I won't do it again, I won't do it again. And as soon as I turned around, he goes getting across the water again. That's why I give my kids kind of the crappier stuff because it won't hurt as bad whenever they ruin it. So, let's see if we... All right, so the motor looks fine. All right, so you see these holes here. Look, this one's actually kind of stretched. That sounds bad, that hole is stretched. There's a hole there, but right here, there's nothing there. It's just, there's no hole. It was ripped completely out. So, I'm going to put this back on, and then hope, dang it, I don't remember which hole went where. Hope that this stays on. Maybe I should take this end plate off. All right, let me get back to work. Alright, got the cars all fixed up, got the camera mount on the Revo, got my boy's car all fixed. I got this one all excited at the uh, 
the old charging station, getting his battery ready. So, you guys are about to go in the car. Let's see how this works. guys sorry it was kind of shaky I didn't have it I had it mounted on the body the camera mount on the body so there was a lot of vibration I'm gonna fix that I think I might even get a roll cage from one of my Revos so that will be a really stable camera mount so thanks for watching guys if you haven't done so already like subscribe and you guys will see me next time later guys